It is Friday, bros and ghouls. Illusionist here with another tutorial. For real. A gunshot wound is a dramatic way to persuade onlookers into believing you have really been mortally wounded. Today I'm going to show you an easy way to create a realistic bullet entry wound without the use of prosthetics. For a list of products used in this tutorial, check out the video description below. Start by covering an area of skin and spirit gum about the size of a quarter. Next tap the surface with your finger until the spirit gum begins to tack up. Using Dissolve It or Quick Cleanse, roll out a sausage shape of scar wax. Then bring the ends of scar wax together, forming a circle. Press the circle of scar wax until it adheres to the spirit gum on the surface of your skin. When the circle is in place, use a makeup spatula or non-abrasive palette knife to blend the edges outward. Apply Quick Cleanse as needed to avoid scar wax sticking to your tool. Scrape any excess wax away to create a more seamless edge. Then go in with Quick Cleanse on your finger to smooth out the transition. If the wound has lost its shape, press the end of a makeup pencil or anything the diameter of a bullet into the wax. Before adding color to the wound, cover in a sealer. I'm using Final Seal by Ben Nye. I recommend alcohol activated makeup like the Skin Illustrator palette from Premier Products. Start with a wash of the lightest tones and work your way closer to the actual skin color. I started with the rice paper, then added a wash of the natural skin tone over it. For blood vessels and irritation, I used dabs of red. A small amount of olive adjuster works great to break up any flatness. Fill in the wound with deep rich colors like brown and plum. Then add black to the outside edge and blend inward. Seal the makeup one last time before adding blood. I created this crazy concept to add bullet wipe around the entrance wound. Burn the end of a cork and let it cool down. Then wipe the soot residue around the wound area. When attempting, do not burn your house down. Things get pretty real when that cork is on fire. The last step is to add some fake blood. Tilt your head back and apply with a brush until you have the desired amount. Your look is complete. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on other social media, and check out more tutorials at the end of this video.